started. Audio video start, ambisonics audio 10. Shelter in place questions. Number one. How many rolls of TP do I have right now? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. I know I bought a big pack two weeks ago. I'm probably three rolls into it. And then I bought a pack there at uh, on Amazon and got that too. And then Grady brought us a bunch. I got two from there. So I, I probably have at least 10 rolls right now. Maybe 11. It'll last me for a month and a half, usually. Um... Question number two, what has, or wait, is it? Yeah, what has been the biggest change since the lockdown? Um, when I was sitting still, I was traveling. Uh, I've since traveled since the questionnaire came out, and this is actually the second time I've recorded this, but uh, the biggest change is not traveling that much, and it drives us crazy. Us as nomads and us as people that travel. Full time or part time, it sucks to sit still. Needless to say, I think I found a little way to still move and still maintain safe distance from everyone. Oh no, I lost my screen. Uh, question number three Where am I currently parked or docked? Well, if you look up that way, you might be able to see the top of the bus, but uh. Right now, at the time of this recording, I'm in Valley of the Gods in Utah. We were parked in north of Flag, or around the Flagstaff area. And I've been there, what, three, maybe four weeks there. And before that, we was parked there in Havasu. But uh, it looked like a lot, a lot of the restrictions are being lifted. So I decided it's time to kind of get out of Dodge, or so to say, Flagstaff, you get down to a lower elevation, so that's uh, where I came. And Rice is my new traveling companion for right now, and he's traveling with me as long as he wants. So, Valley of Gods right now, and we're just kind of exploring what is open and free that can't be shut down. So, this is kind of nice. It's gorgeous here, too. Okay, number four, what have I gone without recently? Well, I have recently gone without my, uh, well, I'm not vegetarian, but I'm pescatarian. If, if there has to be some sort of uh, tone to it, I eat fish, eggs, and mostly tofu products. Not by choice. This, I mean, I have ulcerative colitis, and it doesn't allow me to eat most meat products, although I did get away with a quarter piece of bacon the other day, which... Uh, didn't treat me great, but didn't treat me bad, so but basically what I've gone without is, is called this beef tip uh, meat substitute. It tastes just like beef tips. Kind of expensive, but they've been missing since the pandemic. And I don't know if it's because people like the taste of them that normally eat meat and they're cheaper or not. The other more interesting thing is the Beyond Burger sausages. I've started seeing them a lot of places now. They cost $10 for four links, which is insane. I also found them in the meat section, which uh, this was in Flagstaff, and it was at the uh, Smith's, or was it Smith or the Fry's Food? It was $10 for the package, and then you could go down to the Whole Foods and get them for $6 a package. So, yeah, I figured that one out. All right. Hi, what are you most grateful for? Well, I appreciate having my friends and camping with my friends during the whole pandemic. I appreciate having Bryce here traveling with me north and then east. Uh, part of the reason, if you guys don't know, part of the reason we're going north and then east is because New Mexico is still on lockdown, and essential travel only, so we're going around it. And so we went right north of Flagstaff and over here to the Monument Valley and all that and you guys can check it out in the description above those videos um, it's absolutely gorgeous and there's no one here even though it's a holiday weekend there's still hardly anyone here so that's kind of good um, what do I miss the most um, I miss my family it's part of the reason I took off early I could have hung out there with everyone and 
why they did what they was doing, but I've been missing my family. I've been promising them that I'd be going there um, lately, and I've been missing them, and I kept pushing it off. I was going to take off there in Havasu right before the corona thing happened, and then corona happened, and I was afraid of bringing it home with me, so I sat still for a month there, and actually it was closer to a month and a half, and then a month and, month and flex off, I think, uh, roughly, and now I'm here. I moved a lot of miles already. My gas is cheap in this gorgeous view that's around us. Mm. How long has it been since I've been to a campground? Well, I mean, technically it's at the off-highway vehicle park for a little while. But an uh, uh, actual campground, I think it's been right about two weeks now. I've done some water-saving measures. I got me a... a an epilator to shave my legs and keep my legs nice and clean and pretty now and so now I don't use near as much water I'm getting like a shower a day right now and I've still got two weeks I still got over a half a tank left so we might discuss that a little later on um, what's my favorite quarantine food I must say right be two weeks prior to the quarantine I got a refrigerator freezer combo. It's a 4.5 cubic feet. It actually uses less power than my 5 cubic foot chest freezer converted. And I got ice cream. I got rock hard ice cream. And this has been awesome. I am enjoying it to the nines. And, well, the other day I got away with a, tofu, a vegetarian sushi. Vegetarian meaning it had nothing but veggies in it and it was really good. But, yeah. Question number nine. How are you doing exercising during the, uh, uh, exercising doing workouts? Um, as far as me doing exercise and working out, uh, being stuck in one spot, we hike a lot of places. And if you look back at my videos, I've done a lot of mountain hiking. Actually, right now I'm on a hike, and my hike right now is here in Valley of the Gods. And oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And we did Mexican hat the other day, and before that we did a lot of hills around uh, the cinders area. And this, yeah, this a lot of hiking, getting me really good in shape. Um, another interesting note is coming down from the Flagstaff area, cinders area, going downhill the whole way. It was at like almost 7,000 feet up there, and now it's down to four. Needless to say, I did all this on probably... 200 miles on a quarter tank of gas, which is insane. I, you know, that's like 15 gallons, so I know I have insane fuel mileage. I haven't even calculated that up yet. Uh -huh. Let's see. Um, number 10. What was or will be your panic purchase? Well, my panic purchase was uh, with the stimulus check. I got two balance lithium 138 amp hour batteries with less than 50 cycles on them and I'd like to get me one more before I swap out my lead acid for them I was hearing stories that you can run your air conditioner on them too so that's kind of cool and impressive so those are my panic purchase and if they do another stimulus check I'll probably get me another one or two more and some battery monitors probably one more and a battery monitor I don't know we'll, we'll decide from there but yeah, those are the 10 uh, shelter in place questions. Uh, I'll put in the description below who I call out. I don't know if Nomadic Fanatic has had a call out, so I'll call out Nomadic Fanatic and um, Destination Open Road if they haven't done it. And I don't know if Aja has done it. I'll call them out too. But uh, we'll see from there. If they haven't done it, I'll call out someone else. So guys, that's the 10 shelter in place questions. It's very good. I'm hoping you guys are all staying safe out there and enjoying that everything's opening up at this point. So we'll see you guys later. Enjoy the view. Always look around you. Or I should say, look behind you. Bye.